Hi, my name is Raina, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create multiple call to action buttons on your Facebook business page. We're going to get started right now. As you can see, I'm already up on my Facebook business page. Underneath of my cover, I have a learn more button. Now, I'm going to show you first how I was able to create that learn more button. And you simply want to hover over it like so. You'll see there's a drop down box that appears where you have several different options to test the button, help people learn more, edit the button, or delete the button. Now the message learn more can be changed, and the way you do that is by clicking on the edit button. Once there, you'll notice that there's several different options to choose from, so you can actually click in one of these radio buttons if you wanted to change it from learn more to book now. If you click on contact you, you can also change it for them to contact you, send a message, sign up, send an email, whichever way you choose or whatever call to action you prefer. You can also switch it from learn more to watch video. Okay, so let's just say you wanted to create. Oh, and one more thing. You can also have it to reflect the words shop now or see offers. Now let's go ahead and show you exactly how I created that learn more button and what all is involved in order for them to be redirected to whether it's a video or a capture page, whatever you choose to put behind that particular button. So if you want to create a learn more button, you're going to click into that radio button, click next. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click on website link. Now, whatever program you're in, whatever it is you're promoting, you basically want to go ahead and grab your affiliate link, your capture page link, wherever you want to send them to. And this is where you're going to add that link. Once you save it, you're going to click finish. Okay, it's going to configure it. And then what's going to happen is you can go ahead and test that button. Okay, and then it's going to redirect them to a page of your choice. So that's just to show you how that button works. Now, let's say you wanted to create another button to show up. We're going to show you how to do that as well. So maybe you want another button here that not only says learn more, but says message me. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to settings. Go to Messenger Platform, scroll all the way down, and you're going to want to make sure your Discover Visibility is switched to Show. You can hide it or you can show it. We want to make sure that it says Show. Once you have that selected, you're going to scroll back up. You're going to go back to General. You're going to come over here to the right side, and you're going to click on messages. So you'll click that. Now here you want to make sure that this box is checkmarked. Okay. You want to allow people to contact your page privately by showing the message button. So I already have mine ticked. I'm going to retick it just to show you. And then basically you would save your changes like so. Once that's completed, you can now go to your page and the only way that you're going to be able to see if that second button was placed is you're going to go to these three dots here under your cover photo, click it, and you're going to have to view your page as a visitor. So you'll click view as visitor and there you have it. Now you have two call to action buttons. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can be informed of any other videos that I produce. I want to thank you so much for watching. Have a good night and take care.